Hi everyone, this is Dee. Hope you're all doing well out there today. I just wanted to come on and uh, mention to you that, um, you know, there's been some changes going on in YouTube. They're, they're progressively changing things and rules. And I understand now that it goes by, uh, there's a different measure for them. Um, they're keeping track of whose video is um, seen f from the beginning to the end. So I'm just... Uh, you know, um, just wanted to mention to you, um, uh, as the Lord, um, you know, doesn't have as many things, uh, because I've been on YouTube as an end time messenger for the past couple of years, as it decreases in what the Lord is having me do, sorry, I'm just trying to adjust the, the uh, phone here, uh, as the Lord decreases in the things he wants me to do, because I've already covered them, um, I'm probably just going to uh, not make as many videos unless it's really, really on my heart. So this is really on my heart today. I just wanted to, I made a, a one page, um, like a, it's not really a cheat sheet, but it's just a one page quick reference. For anyone, anybody out there who hasn't done this yet, I made it, I put it together. So I'm thinking of taking a, a snapshot of it also so you can see it. Um, but I'm just... Um, bringing it to you in words today so it has to do with the difference between the spirit and the soul we know we know the body and i'm going to bring that in because there is some scripture about the body but a lot of people if you're just starting out you might not really um you might not really just know the difference between the spirit and the soul so there there is a big difference so i wrote down some of the scripture that i got here it's just a one page. I got this as quickly as I as quickly as I got it into me and received it. Um, I copied it down. So I have it down as a one page. A one pager. So I know you can't see that the right way. So I'm gonna start off with bowing my head and saying, Let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord God. So the difference in spirit and soul. So for the spirit, the spirit is called the pneuma, P-N-E-U-M-A in the Greek. So your spirit, as you first start out in life, is unregenerated, or you could say it's dead. Um, this is before you have the Lord. This is, this is um, before Jesus Christ, before coming to him and accepting him into your heart and getting born again. So that's where, this, that's where the expression born again uh, comes into play. So um, it's an unregenerated spirit before coming to Christ. You know, you ask to be cleansed by him. You come to him asking to be cleansed and forgiven and repent. This is the big thing you have to do is repent and change. Um, and then your spirit becomes reborn uh, or born again, as it's quoted in the Bible in John 3, 3. Uh, this is how we are then able to communicate and commune with, with God. So we are accepted and seen that way. We're accepted and justified by what Jesus did on the cross. So this is how we are then able to communicate. So this is for all those out there who don't have this knowledge. So it's um, it's just a quick one-page reference. Um, the spirit, Numa is called our inner man. And what I'm going to briefly read is James 1, 23 and 24. You can check it out in whatever Bible that you have. I just copied it down from, uh, I use the King James Version. So I don't read really in the King James uh, Old English. I just read it. Uh, James 1, 23 and 24, Ephesians 1, 17, John 3, 6 through 8, 1 Corinthians 2, 14, and Romans 8, 6. This is uh, quotes and uh, scripture about the Spirit. We attain then, then we are able to attain deep peace, discernment, and revelation once we get the Spirit. So, keeping that in mind, I'm going to move rather quickly now, and I'm just going to read it off, okay? I'm going to read this off to you. So, for James one twenty three and one twenty four, For if any uh, be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man, beholding his natural face in a glass or a mirror, 24, for he beholds himself, goes away, and straight away forgets what manner of man he was. And Ephesians 1, 17, uh, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit 
of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So he gives us the spirit. Uh, we pray. I always tell people to pray Ephesians 1, 17 and 18 so that your eyes can be opened. Check out those two scriptures. I've said it long enough, and so I'm just repeating myself here, but this is scripture that has to do with the spirit. That's why I read that one. John 3, 6 through 8. That which is born of the flesh and that which is born of the spirit that which is born of the flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. Eight, the verse eight, the wind blows where it lists, listeth or wishes. The wind blows where it wants to and you hear the sound thereof, but can't tell where it comes, whither it goes. So is everyone born of the spirit. So we're given tests and uh, no one not everybody comes out, you know, winning the race. Not everybody, because I've, I've met people that said they've started out uh, being born again, and then um, uh, they've gone back, and they've fallen back. They've backslidden. Um, so not very many. I don't meet many, very many people, but I have met. So that's, it is possible so that people start out, and if they don't stay with the God, if they don't stay with the, with the Word of God, they don't stay with praying if they don't practice these things every single day they slowly slowly backslide so then there's first corinthians 2 14 but the natural man meaning the the person who has not yet received the spirit they're natural they're in they're in the natural that's what it's meant but the natural man receives not the things of the spirit of god for they are foolishness to him they can't be uh, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So that's what happens when we get to the spirit. We be, we um, we start understanding the things of the spirit more and more and more as time goes by. More and more and more. We keep praying to be filled with the spirit more and more. Okay, so that your spirit man is filled to the brim or overflowing. You ask that all the time. Um, so then there's Romans eight six. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So that's following and, and being led by the Spirit. So that's a little bit about the Spirit, the inner man. Okay, that's our inner man that we have to feed all the time. And then the soul is referred to as the psyche. So let's say, you know, uh, we get hurt or something. Somebody, you know, injures us or something. We feel that pain. It's our soul that feels the pain. It's our character. This, our soul is our unique identity, uh, the, our, our emotions, feelings, thoughts, mind. It's our desires, our conscious thoughts. That is the outer man. It's referred to as the outer man, okay? And so I want to just quickly mention for the soul, the Lord mentions the soul as being uh, preserved blameless. Uh, when we um, go and read 1 Thessalonians 5.23, we see what it says. Um, now may the God of peace sanctify you through and through and make you blameless in your spirit, soul, and body. Three things. Um, and before the coming of the Son of Man. And then he does do it. He will do it. He will preserve us blameless if we're reading and studying, right? Because uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.24 tells us so. He who is faithful will do it. So we can we can count on it. Um, and then the body. Of course we know we have the smell, the taste, touch. We hear, we see, the senses. But it is a temple for the Lord when, when you're saved. Okay. Um, uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 6, 13 and 14 and 619, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So read that. Read 1 Corinthians 6, 13 through 14. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Our body is the temple. So obviously our body needs food and shelter. And in marriage, we need intimacy, uh, sex, clothing. But not when we're divorced or single. So that I just wanted to make that really, really clear. Um, so that's really it. So that's the one page. So I thought it would be about nine or ten minutes long. And um, I'm thinking about whether or not I'm going to take a, a snapshot of that and just post it maybe on my community page or something. So that's it. And um, 
I hope you have a blessed rest of your day, everyone, and um, may the Lord bless you and guard you. Thank you. Have a blessed rest of your day, everybody.